first letter to myself ever? Yeah, I didn't expect to cry. And that's authenticity. But love, 27 year old engaged Audrey. Ooh! Kill it! Gosh, here we go. 2011. Must arrive. <laughs> 2019. Wait, what time is it? I want to write a time. 5:59. But where am I? What's to come? I don't even know where to start. I know. I'm gonna just put bullets. Oh, here we go. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's why there's a V. Oh, yeah. What does that even Victory. mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Aww. No, because we knew that things were different. Like, this yeah. letter forward, we're like, new, new. I okay. No. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, it's going to be a good letter. It's good. What's good? So, what you just saw was our time capsule box. We started when we were literally, like, 12. <laughs> we have or a 13. video on that. Are we keeping that one up? I'm not sure. <laughs> I think we can keep it up. Okay. Yeah, we, we kind of read, like, a little bit of our notes from the past, mm -hmm. from before. Today, we decided to write another letter to ourselves. Yeah. Every year changes, obviously, like, since we were 12 or 13. Um, but it started off as, like, venting just to see, like, how we would grow in life, I guess. Like yeah. a time capsule. Like, we were like, let's write a letter to ourselves. Oh, yeah, it was like a time capsule. Full. It's mostly letters. Yeah, we've been doing this for, like... Over 10 years? I know. 13 years, maybe? Really? <laughs> I'm glad we still do it. Yeah, me too. We, Me too. I think we did it more consistently when we were younger, but now it's like a once or twice a year thing. But that's enough. Yeah, it's a trip. Or else it'd be back. filled. The box would be filled. So we wrote a new one for today. Yeah, it is January 4th. Mm -hmm. 2023 happy new year happy new year and the last one we wrote more recently is august 26 2022 which was like four or five months ago and a lot has changed since then already i don't even remember what i wrote in this yeah me too but we wrote v for victory victory this was a very special time in our lives yeah it was like a shift <laughs> was changing yes and like i will just say that we've been growing in Christ together and then when we're apart it's like we grow away from Christ too it's just crazy anyway <laughs> should we start by reading our yeah 8 August 26th yeah letter? these are personal so we'll see we'll chop and yeah, screw it but chop and screw yeah you first okay okay so <laughs> on the top there's a V and it says victory paper wow I think okay it's because <coughs> a lot of our past letters were not negative but like we were in a more like a sad mindset that's true or like a different mindset. it was like a venting mm -hmm. and we would we would still say our hopes but it was very like not hopeful <laughs> it was hopeful but it was like like i, I don't know if it'll ever be there mm -hmm. like with doubts yeah i feel like like just throwing hopes out there but not believing <coughs> it's gonna happen you know mm -hmm. anyway yeah um Ooh, yeah. Just I don't know. Well, I don't know how much it. of this will be in there, but Just here we go. It. Yeah, it says, "Wow, today we rebuked and renounced demons." <laughs> Period. You see, yeah, that is just something. Okay, God now taught us. I remember. Yeah, we are ready to step into God's promises. Yes. Just a week or two ago, I was back struggling with depression and anxiety but i challenged myself to sit with my feelings instead of reacting wow and i could tell the devil was panicking he started to change what was bothering me but i kept rebuking it today me and janelle spoke life into each other that part we aren't going to let the devil delay our blessing anymore god is using us for something greater than we know it will be fulfilled we tried so many times to create, but so many things got in the way. We are going to we are, we are going full force in Jesus' name. I'm going to Hawaii soon. I am tunnel vision. I am almost a year at my job. Wow, it's still really hard, and I'm reminded this is a stepping stone. But 
Also, Biden is forgiven student loans, question mark. What? I don't know if he's still doing that. We're in a new season. I'm renouncing self-hate. A lot is about to change. All good, though. From the outside, nothing is different, but inside is evolved. Also, we just fasted 24 hours. Time to eat. The heart. <laughs> oh, yeah. Love. Love you, future Audrey. I'm pumped for you. Then I signed it, Audrey Manatee. <laughs> Oh my god. Because I started gosh. my channel. Wow. Now that's deep stuff. That's deep stuff. I feel like you should read your, your new one now and then I can oh, do Okay. Yeah? Okay. It's the letter I wrote for today. So this is like five months later. Six months mm -hmm. later. Uh I put a lot of bullet points because there was just a lot and I'm also training myself to focus on the positive instead of writing the negative. Um, because just retraining my brain. Anyway. Yeah, so just, put, read, just read. Where I'm at. And I put bullet point. Engage. So I got engaged in Hawaii. <laughs> show the ring. Show the ring. Yeah. Oh my it gosh. was it was honestly more than I could imagine. And I didn't expect it. But I know like God worked in both our lives to so that we can get to that point. And then like the day I got engaged was really beautiful. I just felt like peace. I was like, oh, that's why we went through trials so that we can get to this point. I feel like it was literally everything you hoped and dreamed of and but more. Yeah. Yeah. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Well. I'm grateful. Anyway, I put, we're so good, but I'm also learning how to put myself first because um, I feel like, I don't need to explain, but like, you know, putting him on a pedestal versus loving myself so that I can love him better and love others better. Anyway, I put, I'm currently unemployed. I'm a little anxious about it, but I'm fighting my shame because God knows me and my desires and I'm like trying and I'm not defined by those things. Family is tough, but my ability to love is easier and I'm hopeful wow. for new beginnings. YouTube, restarting with Janelle but with more authenticity. Mm -hmm. Self-image, learning to care for myself and stand up for who I am. The word for the year is authenticity. My dream slash hope for the new year is to have a beautiful wedding, to have a home that I love, be financially secure and work at things that align with my soul, reach my goals health-wise and feel beautiful and take care of myself. Be consistent with YouTube, restoration with my family, habit, and do habits that bring me joy, peace, and purpose, and prepare me for my next season. I would love to travel, and uh, just God strengthen my relationship with Him in my marriage, my family, myself, etc. Then I wrote, be kind to yourself, you are loved stick up for yourself you are beautiful you are anointed you are blessed then i put love amen, amen. 27 year old engaged audrey because you know this is the season of my life yeah there's only one time god willing yeah this will yeah wow okay okay so this is my victory letter um <clears throat> Oh, okay, in the very top I wrote, victory, woo! Okay, God is good, that's it. So God delivered me from so many things, and unfortunately, I backslid, started smoking weed again, started living life like the world all over again. This was like the, the year prior. I guess I'm just catching myself up. I fell into a deep depression. I knew deep down that this was supposed to be a season of sanctification and singleness. Lost almost complete sight of God's promises for me and the calling that he has on my life. I was reminded about it from time to time, but was struggling to completely let go and let God. About two weeks ago, God put a huge urgency on our hearts. Basically, in all caps, woke me up. We are in the revelations right now, and today we are fasting, and God has revealed so much. My confidence in the Lord is like never before, and I am beginning to understand why we were made for a time like this. He is allowing me to connect the dots. I see his hand in the different stages in my life. I'm ready to be used by him. It's about to be huge, but fear and doubt no longer has a hold on me. I'm excited to be alive. Wow. Woo! 
love Janelle and I put P.S. I know who I am in Christ and I know my authority. Yay. <laughs> Period. That is a victory yeah. letter. I was fired up. Mm. I that's I was just on fire. Okay. So today I wrote Hello, happy new year. You just turned 27 and honestly, I'm very proud of myself. Little Janelle that wrote her first letter would be so proud. I can I'm cry. <laughs> But I yes. can confidently say that my relationship with God is solid and that is what's to be proud of. I feel one with the Holy Spirit and this is how I'm supposed to live my life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> At the end of last year, God took me through a season that really tested me. I felt like he was almost giving me an ultimatum, LOL. And that's when I decided to give my 100% to God and stop playing and dancing with sin. I've been very intentional about what I'm doing and who I'm doing it with with and doing my best to be an example of Jesus, learning that this comes naturally and effortlessly when you actually spend time with him. I've been consistently reading my Bible and this is truly a precious season between me and the Lord. He is slowly changing my desires. <laughs> no longer want to smoke weed. No longer craving raves and drugs. <laughs> no longer vaping and no longer being that bad influence around others and showing me who I really am. It's my job to believe all that he says because it is the truth. With everything that God has put in my heart, I learned that the only thing getting in the way of my calling and my blessings are myself. God is teaching me in this season how to walk confidently and boldly. He has shown me that I am a warrior and I can literally do all things through Christ. God has given me dreams and visions about what's to come. And I'm just so grateful. I'm excited for the future. I'm expectant. I can feel myself elevating mentally, physically, and spiritually. All thanks to my loving, faithful, and gracious father. Um, and then I wrote, P.S. I went to Vietnam this year alone with 20 other strangers with Tway to Bay. And had the freaking time of my life. Like, what? <laughs> PPS, I started my YouTube mukbang channel. Yeah, and I wrote PPPS, words are powerful, is what God placed on my heart to start the new year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't expect to cry. And there's authenticity right there. Yeah, I didn't expect to cry. Wow. All good things. All good things. Wow. Thanks for sharing. Thank Always. you for sharing. Wow. wow. That was a um, really great letter. And... I'm hopeful. I didn't even know what I was writing when I wrote this. And that's the flow. No, we've been there so much. God is faithful. And <laughs> I don't know if our blessings are coming this year, but I'm declaring that they are. He and really, we're going to speak life He really cares over. about our character more than our circumstance. If you're still watching, I encourage you to write down write down all the good things that that you've been through. Or the things you want to work on to add to the writing stuff down write it down so you can remember because humans just tend to forget the things that happen to us and when we forget like it just seems like the negative outweighs the positive because it's mm -hmm. just so painful but when you actually look back and see all the good things that happen like you you can be grateful mm -hmm. and you want to live with a grateful heart absolutely yeah God knows the desires of your heart he yeah. put it in there yeah there is yeah. more, and life does matter, mm -hmm. but not in the ways that the world says it does. Wow, it's gonna be a good year. It is. It is. It is. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Happy New Year. Peace.